Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for June 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th, Monday through Thursday, for my Pisces. Hello, my Pisces. How are you doing? Well, you know, two Radley Valentine decks. I use my Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main message, and then I try to just pull the one from my Angel Tarot cards. I've prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Okay? Okay. Um, yes, lots and lots of energy for this weekend. You know, talk about, I've already talked about that. So we will get through this weekend, and we have the other side waiting for us, Monday through Thursday. Three cards face down. The third one's reversed, and that means pay a little more attention. It's got a little more oomph. I am an intuitive channeler, and that means that I open myself up to my higher power. Whatever the message is for whoever needs to hear it, it comes through. Okay, let's go ahead and see. Now, first card for my Pisces, Monday through Thursday. Here we go. The three of Ariel. Ariel is earth energy, solid er energy. It is our Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Now, this is basically, I feel like this is very hands-on type of energy for you. I feel like, you know, you're, you're um, okay, you know, it could be something, to, something, someone you can touch. It could be something to do with money, money with a job, money with an opportunity. But I feel like this is you building. I feel like there, this is building type of energy. So, you know, is this building your business? It could be, is this building possibly a relationship, even though, but it's in a very solid type of energy. It could be, it's putting together your building blocks. Okay. I feel kind of like, you know, like you're building, you know, and that's all I can tell you is that you're building and you seem very, very focused, very invested in whatever this is that you're building. And it really is something that you, um, my Pisces, you're getting into it. I mean, you're really getting into it. It gives you back the joy, it gives you back, um, you know, the energy that you're putting into that, okay? So the three of Ariel, do what you love, a time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors, working with others in a cooperative manner. Again, I feel like you're building. Now, it calls also, too, you know, I'm, I'm kind of feeling, too, I'm seeing a chef and a chef, and you've got all of the ingredients around you. I, I don't know if you're, I, I feel like you're a chef, not a baker, but it's like you're, you know, it's again, you're building, you're putting together something. Maybe you're putting together a restaurant. Maybe you're putting together a new dish, but it's very creative. So I guess that's the thing about it. It's very creative building. <laughs> okay, let's go on from there. Next card is the Six of Raphael. Now, this is water energy. It's your energy, Cancer and Scorpio. And this is like, again, this is like you're having fun. This is this creative energy. This is you doing, this is, maybe this is even you doing something that you thought about when you were a child. That, the, you, know, you know, again, we're in Mercury retrograde. It hasn't gone direct yet. So maybe you're revisiting something that you've been wanting for a long time. Maybe, like I said, this could be also that type of, um, you know, like, saying, no, this is the right time. I need to do this now. But there's such enjoyment for you this week, okay? There's fun, there's laughter, there's giggling type of energy for you. And whatever it is, it has to do with this creating, okay? Embrace your inner child, new friends, friends or rekindled relationships, children or childhood. Last one is reversed. Here we go. The chariot, things are moving for you. Things are moving. Now, there has to be a little bit of control on the chariot also, okay? This is Archangel Metatron. Metatron is the angel that, you know, one of the two angels that walked on earth as a human and then was, you know, brought and changed into the archangel. So, but the thing about Metatron is that Metatron knows what the human existence is like. Human existence is like. So there is this, this um, sensitivity, there is this compassion, okay? But there's also a little bit of a, there's also kind of like, hey, if I could have done this, you know, you can do it too. But the chariot to me moves fast, but there's also some self-control here. 
So I guess the thing is that as you're creating, as you're building, as you're having this type of energy, you're going to have to make sure that you don't go, you know, don't make, you know, maybe you don't say, well, it's time for a nap. And then you don't pick the energy back up because this is really good time for you get to get a lot of things accomplished and a lot of, um, you know, and, and also kind of, kind of seeing what those dreams were. Again, going back to your childhood, going back to, you know what, or, you know, like, so, you know, like maybe this is what I always wanted. Okay, so it's working towards that. Now, determination and self-control, career advancement, acknowledgement of success by others. So let's go on. Again, one more time here. Okay, two, okay, a couple of cards came through. Actually, two cards came through. They're both reversed. Here we go. Here we have the Ten of Water. This is, again, your energy. Tens are transitioning, so some things are changing for you. Um, but it's a really contented feeling. It's really feeling good about these changes, okay? So even though we've been in some weird, weird energy, it's like you're, you're starting to get optimistic. Uh, well, I shouldn't say you're starting. You're seeing, you're seeing that light at that end of that tunnel. It's really, it's really positive um, you know, it's optimistic type of energy. A contented and rewarding family life, your emotional and material needs are met, trustworthy relationships. And that was reversed. This one is also reversed. Here we go. The nine of water. Again, it's that water energy. And this is the wish card. So your whole week, you know, your Monday through Thursday, and it probably will even go through the weekend too, is about making dreams come true. Okay or starting on those dreams, working towards those dreams, doing those things that you love. What is it, my Pisces, that you've been putting off? Um, or what is it that you're taking to that next step? Because this week is a great week for you to do that. Anyway, your wish comes true, concerns fade away, a love of life. You know what? This one's one, this is a reading we can claim. Claiming it for my Pisces. Okay, so my Pisces, if you enjoy my readings, please remember, like, share, subscribe, all those buttons down there. Now, as always, my Pisces, <laughs> moment, as always, my Pisces, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.